what can the audience <laughs> expect from the marriage of Figaro? The audience can expect an immersive experience with beautiful music and some very beautiful surroundings of Water Perry House. Hopefully some uh, really relatable Figaro. It's not set in an ancient time. It's more like up to date now. You know, it's such a kind of beguiling and charming piece. It's beautiful and it's really profound and it's exciting and it's funny and it's also tragic in, in a few moments. And I think actually that variety of emotion is really at the heart of Figaro. It's set in the front of Waterbury House so the audience can feel what it would be like to live in this grand house with all of these crazy characters. We are so lucky that we get to do this on a real country estate and outdoors. You know, often in the theatre, you, you won't feel the magic of that evening in the garden in Act 4, whereas in our production, they will have just spent an evening picnicking in the gardens, and then they'll come back, celebrate a wedding, and I think that will be really magical. I'm most excited about singing Figaro in English to a mainly English-speaking audience. That's really exciting with opera when you have an audience that can understand what's going on, especially in a, an opera like Figaro where it's all about the humour and the in-jokes and the things that go on. In one word, I would describe this production to be forgiveness. Chaotic. Energetic. Joyous. Zesty. That was such a good word. I don't know what to say now. It's probably the best opera ever written, isn't it?